What is up, Beach Bumps? I'm out here this morning with Kayak and Kennedy, Scott Kennedy. We haven't done a video in a while together. It's been, it's been a minute. We've been really busy. Both of us have had a crazy summer, running trips, you know, doing all kinds of craziness. But if you have not subscribed to his channel, what are you doing? Go hit the subscribe button. I'll post a link in the description below. We've had a pretty interesting morning. We, of course, got here like we always do before daylight, so we're filming our intro after the fact. But uh, you guys check out how today went. I'm throwing the fish bites fighting shrimp this morning on a uh i've actually got it rigged on a weighted hook i've never done this before just trying something different it's going to sink a little bit slower than a jig head can't cast it quite as far but it's a calm morning and these redfish they've been hanging up real close to the beach this side of the bar uh, within really 20 feet of the beach in these little pockets so don't have to cast far for where these redfish have been. Yeah, you see that out there? Yeah. What do you think that is? Big. Yeah. You think it's, Baby. Well, if they come close, I'm, I got something to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something gnarly out there. Scott just saw, we just saw red cruising right here. Turn. Scott, did he turn on it? Here, where's he? I'm like oh yeah, he's not going this way anymore. Yeah, yeah. Is he? All right. That should have been a money cast right there. Oh, hey, there it is again out there. Look, look. Well, not the red, the the jacks. Oh, okay. You see? Watch, watch out there. Or whatever it is, but that those big blowups, they were way out there again. Yeah, they they keep that. Those big blowups keep popping up. Really? So man, man, I really want them to come in close. I, I mean. That one time was much closer, but still, I wouldn't have been able to reach them. The tide's moving out. We, we're, we're on a bit of a neap tide, but we are on the outgoing tide of that. So we're kind of hoping maybe once we get to the low tide point, that's kind of when we've seen the activity, both inshore and out here on the beach. Side note, have seen some jacks blowing up. Well, we're pretty, pretty sure they're jacks. Uh, pretty far offshore not within casting distance but I'm ready for them I've got a three ounce swim bait rigged up on my 11 foot ninja tackle dagger so if they get r relatively close to the beach I will be throwing at them Okay, so I just saw a fish swim up. I, I couldn't tell, I think it was a redfish. I'm not 100%, I couldn't tell if it was red or a trout. I think it was red. Um, when I started reeling my lure in faster to, uh, to get a cast on it, it caught its attention and it, it came towards the bait, but uh, just ran out of water and, and had to, Get the and the lures back on the beach, and it, it turned off of it. When I recasted to the fish, it spooked it and went on. So, but I've been working this shrimp just kind of slow on the bottom. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to change over to a paddle tail and uh, give it more kind of a swimming action. Try to get something moving a little bit more. We've got our paddle tail rigged on now, and this hook is actually pretty much geared for this type of bait, so it makes sense to have it rigged on here. Gives it a really good action, uh, keeps the bait in the right upright position, you know, that it needs to needs to swim. Here's one. The trout right here. I'm gonna try to bring this by his face. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He turns. He turns. Let's see if we can get him to hammer this. There he is. Man, it's so frustrating seeing fish and not being able to get them to eat. Oh, 
All right, right here, right here. He's coming towards you. You see him? You got him? Yeah, he's, uh, is that him or is that a crab? It's a crab in it, yeah. We're both throwing at this fish. Can't get him to eat. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, he's kicking behind that crab. Yeah, maybe go fast. <laughs> Sucks. Man, so many fish. Wow, that that sucks. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's Jax. Oh my god. Do it. Do it. Hold the money. Come on. Come on. That was it, man. Where where? Where? Oh gosh, that's Jax. That's Jax. I, I need a popper. Where'd they go? Dude, that, that was right on them. How did I not hook up on that? Man, I think if I'd had the top, the popper on, I think that'd have been the money. You're still right there. There's a big on the left. Man, that was it! Ah! What a frustrating day, man. I mean, you're not going to get a better opportunity than that. That should have been a big, I mean, that first half. Oh, it was right on him, man. Ah, uh, I'm shaking. I just looked over and I saw the, the freaking torpedoes. I was like, oh. <laughs> come on, come back, come back, come back. Uh, I would have thought I think that was the deep. trout right there. Insult to in injury right there, freaking right there. You're, that was right on top of his head. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm like sick. This is like the most like epically disappointing day of fishing. Like to see like monster trout, schools of drum, freaking jacks, and you're throwing everything right at them. Yeah. And you're not, you're not hooking up. You see them? All right, you should see them in this wave right here. See, did you see oh, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's been hanging that same line. Oh, did he eat? Just hit. Oh, he's right there. Uh, yeah, he's a little he's a little further out. Did you see him? Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, that was on his freaking head. Oh, oh, did you get him? Oh dang it! Ate it, but it wasn't dead. Oh, it cut you, didn't it? I don't think it cut me. I just... uh, oh, here, I'll try to keep an eye on him. Oh, yeah, he's still here. He's, he, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping line with him, so like I'm right, I'm right in line with him. There you go.
Oh, stupid, stupid ladyfish. <laughs> he is just cruising, dude. Still there. You see him? He's got mullet with him. Did you see that? Oh, that should be money, dude. That should be money. Keep the dang ladyfish off of it. Ah. I was able to get some dead shrimp from my buddy Stephen Parker. He's out here. Nice to have a good community of folks surf fishing. So we're gonna use little pieces of this. We are we are we are not throwing artificial. Neither one of us can hook up on anything. Doesn't matter what we throw and where if we put it right in front of their face, they're not eating it. But Scott and I know a trick. We we know what will probably get these trout to eat. At least the trout. Don't know about these other fish. I want another shot at these jacks. I would love for these jacks to come in close again because I don't know that I'll have another opportunity like that. That was sick. Is that a pinfish? Yeah. That might do it. I'd use it. All right, I've got one of these whiting. Try to keep this guy alive and put him in front of a trout. Is it the big one? He was all over my pen pen. You couldn't get it in his mouth. Oh yeah, where is he? He's sitting there chewing on it. Is he still here? Last I saw him, he was on the edge of the bar in this pocket. He he wants it. So that, something a little more to sleep on. But I mean that trout, so the first one I put it right on him and it kind of, that splash kind of spooked him. The next cast I put it a little bit off of him. That might be one right down there. Where do you see it? Kind of right in the middle oh, of the I trough. See. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see that. I see that. Yeah. But uh, the next cast, I yeah, that, like, that's one. I put it like five feet in front of where they were headed and man, when he got to it, he was on it. Yeah, he's coming this way. Yeah, he's going for it. All right, Matt's got a live line in that way. Trout is going for it. Oh, look at He's on it. He's, he's on, on it. it. I can't tell if he's eating it or not. He's, he's trailing it. Oh, he's eating it. He's he's eating it. He just ate it. What should I What should I do, Scott? He's, 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 he's got it in his mouth. Slowly put some pressure on it. I mean, I'm still, I've still got it in free spool. You think I should close it up and... I think he's had it. Now you put, you put a little pressure to him. Oh! Got him. Ah! 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 No! He had him. He had him. In his freaking mouth. I don't know where he went. Dang it. Oh yeah. Woo! All right, well. That was, that was insane, man. It, I, that's the problem, like, I, that's, it's so crazy that that's what they want, you know? Yeah. But getting, getting, the, getting the hook in their mouth. If they do that again, I'll run up and get a, those treble. They eat it like that with the treble, you, you, you should have them in. You think so? Yeah. Look at them. Oh my God. It's just that was a, a big trout. Yeah. My my whiting's still alive. That's crazy. It's a few days after we filmed that video, and Scott and I had a great time. But holy cow, how frustrating of a day of fishing! Being able to see trout, redfish. We saw black drum. We saw jacks come in close, like right on top of us. I was, we were getting ready to transition into catching whiting so that we could use those for bait. And we were standing right there and Scott just says, Matt, 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 look, look. And I grab the rod, run at them, they're right on top of us, throw right on them, can't get them to eat. And that was the story of the day. I mean, I did get that one trout to eat the whiting, but couldn't get the hook in his mouth. All we had on us were circle hooks. So I, we didn't have any trebles or J hooks, which would work better because you could actually really set the hook and kind of rip the hook out of the whiting and into the trout's mouth is kind of the idea I would suppose to be the best way to do that. But that's like the only thing that those trout would eat is 
big whiting. Like when they're in that situation where you're seeing them cruise up and down that clear water, like that's what they're eating. We can't get them to eat artificial. Only thing we can get them to eat were those whiting. Crazy day though. A lot of fun sight casting all those fish, seeing that all the life that was taking place. Scott and I are going to try to get out there again if conditions do uh, present themselves to, to do that again if we can get clear water, calm water, and the right tide so that those fish will be cruising that first trough middle of the day where you can see them. We're definitely going to get out there and try it again. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We had fun. Didn't actually catch any fish, but still wanted to share with you our day just because it was, it was, it was pretty cool. It's definitely a cool day, different. Maybe the next time we get out there, we can actually catch some fish. But guys, thanks for watching the video. And as always, you stay bummy.